join me in this to welcome the President of the United States. They came from all corners of Sub-Saharan Africa to participate in the fellowship program. At the end, a conversation with the person who started the Young African Leaders Initiative, President Barack Obama. The objective was to give young Africans the opportunity to come to the United States and develop their skills as the next generation of leaders in civil society and business and government. Mr. Obama launched YALI in 2010, and this year's fellowship helped empower young people through academic coursework, leadership training, and networking. The president says he was impressed with the 50,000 applicants his office received. One young woman from rural Zimbabwe took a five-hour bus ride, then another six-hour bus ride, then another seven-hour bus ride, a two-day journey just to get her interview. Before taking questions, Mr. Obama made the following announcement. Uh, we are proud to announce uh, that the new name of this program is the Mandela Washington Fellowship. These 500 fellows, a number the president hopes to double in the next two years, are seen as some of Africa's most promising young leaders. They met with U.S. entrepreneurs, government officials, and civil society representatives during the six-week program. But being able to meet Mr. Obama and ask a direct question was especially thrilling. I think I was persistent. I kept raising my hand from the moment he said it's question time. Her question was about next week's summit of African leaders in Washington. And my concern will be how will you uh, be able to engage them to commit to their promises because I know they're going to promise you that. Mr. Obama answered he'll do his part but the fellows also have a responsibility. You're going to have to also help to hold them accountable collectively uh, across countries. Uh, and that's part of why this network can be so important. For others, the chance to develop their skills and meet so many people is a once-in-a-lifetime dream. First of all, the high quality of training and networking, meeting with people, talking to successful businessmen, startups, and chambers of commerce. How can I use my creativity to help the community around me, but still making money as an entrepreneur? The three-day summit, which began on Monday right behind me, will also feature plenary sessions with members of Congress, leaders in international development, and representatives of non-governmental organizations. The fellows will also have another opportunity to meet with another member of the Obama family on Wednesday, and that would be the First Lady, Michelle Obama. In Washington, Mariama Diallo, VOA News.